It's night time here. Now nighty night. I got my string of hearts flowering. So this is now the flowering. So that seed pod, the other half of it. I still haven't removed it. Let's go take it off. This one is starting to form. Look, some aerial tubers. So there you go. Those are the tubers that are forming. And all the way along, you can take those, chop, 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 stick in the soil. See, look how many tubers there is. So I got one, two, three, four, five. So you can cut little sections of that one. So, but anyway, I'm here for the variegated ones. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So these variegated ones I've got here, I started with just a three inch long piece. Okay, so I'm going to take this one now. So it would be about that long when Jemmy Jem gave it to me. She actually gave me a couple of strands about that long. And I, it was December last year, so it's 11 months. And this is now 11 months growth. That would have to be about 1.3 meters long, uh, the longest one. And, okay, and there's more. Hang on, baby P, my budgie. Okay, look at that. I've already pinned a couple of them on top because they're growing too long. And look at all those tubers. The tubers, which I like to call bulbs. They look like bulbs, anyway. Aerial tubers, which can be a, a soil tuber planted, anyway. <laughs> So there you go. I'll put it here just so I can show you how long that is. Look at that. So how high is that? I think that's 1200 high that uh, balustrade. Now in here, where are we? I'm just looking at this one now. See these ones are re oh, I know Pedro. Really I got my budgie. Look. Look at him. Oh. Oh. Oh, baby P. Uh -huh. Okay, come here. Hey, look. Are oh, you not seeing yourself in the? I can't. Okay, there you go. Hey, what? Come on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this bird. Okay, you want to go down? Let's go down. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Go, go. There you go, baby P. Hey, come here. <laughs> Now, where are you going? He doesn't want to go down. Okay, you come stay with mommy. Okay, where are we now? Let's go take... Oh, I know I'm going down now. Hey, let's go down. Let's go down? Okay, we go down. And I was going to look at it if there's any tubers. The tubers are still small. But anyway, let's go take this down because my budget is already complaining. Okay, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. If he could have it his way, he's just going to go kiss, kiss, kiss all day long. Mm, kiss, kiss, tum, tum. Mm, okay, let's go down. Now, little woody eye here are variegated. A string of hearts. My heart's on a string. This one's, you can see that it's quite long. So it's coming from one plant. So this is one year's growth or actually less than a year i only started with literally this much and now almost a year later look how much i've got now we're gonna chop this up but before i do that i'd like to show you my older string of hearts this is the oldest variegated string of hearts i've got you can see that <laughs> <laughs> this is over two years old. When I bought this one, it would be, I kid you not, it's only about that much what's in the center there. So a bit less than that. Two years later, she's finally growing because it just wouldn't grow. And so when I aired my concerns with Jem, or just mentioned it in passing, I said that I've got this string of hearts, variegated string of hearts that just wouldn't grow. So she gave me a cuttings and she said, this one here is a fast grower and fast grower it is. But this one is a slow grower. So this one, you can see that it's quite 
thick. The leaves are quite nice and fat. I finally fattened it up, but it is still slow growing compared to that other one. So now this one, I'm still not going to propagate this one. I'm going to leave it because we stay away from the slow growing strain. And I'm just going to roll it up like this as it grows and continue to grow. So anyway, um, there's a question by the way. So I was doing this video today or the String of Hearts video today and someone posted a question or a comment. Ruby Avogado, there you go, I've done a shout out. You were asking whether String of Hearts can be grown, only grown indoors. I think that was the question. Anyway, you can. They will grow indoors with minimal light. You can also grow them outdoors with direct sunlight even. With the normal one or the standard non-variegated string of hearts, they just grow purple, just beautiful purple. I had one growing outside in my 50 zone area. So it's sort of semi and only getting 50% of the sunlight. It grew into beautiful purple and it was fast. It was just, that's the long one that I have upstairs. But anyway, this one, the variegated ones, I probably wouldn't put a variegated one to grow outside because you're going to lose the variegation. So it will eventually all turn purple and this one I just noticed it's got a curly tail it's like a pig tail like anyway so this one now we're going to propagate so see the back of this variegated ones that purpleness if you have a normal standard one and you grow it outside in the Sun then it will turn purple like that which is beautiful color so it's like a purple heart a purple heart okay now this one now let's go propagate this one I've got a long piece here now I'm gonna go back to the lowest one so I only want to do five pots if you try and grow it like cut your string of hearts to the lowest point so this is the problem with the oldest one I've got there is okay I'll just put it here as a point of reference so this is the problem with this older one that has been cut too short so the person who sold it to me would probably took this one here like this and literally I kid you not I'm gonna do this now okay so I'm gonna roll this up when I bought it for three dollars that's all I've got so hang on I need something black to put it in so you can see how tiny that is so well anyway it's about a strand like that okay so that's what I paid three dollars for two years ago for this plant and it just took forever to grow and this one because it's still young okay I can put that away now it is going to take forever to grow even though this one is starting to form a little tuber in there so that's a little node I call it node uh, where they would grow so the roots will grow into there so the aerial tubers would grow but this one now this is going to be a slow grower compared to say for example if we go further down the line so say for example now okay I'm not gonna cut it from where I got the other one I'm gonna get so this is the end okay you see that one now should probably or the pigtail I can't pigtail is growing from a tuber so I have to find follow the line until I get a substantial size tuber so that one is still small the tuber is still quite small and so you see that one so let's go find a bigger one okay so it's all tangled up tangled up tangled up so I'm gonna have to go up the top okay it's all a tangled mess now come on okay that would okay I will go from down here so this one now so that one is sort of drying so there's something a new plant growing like this one can you see that one bit there so that one there is still alive that one is sort of drying so this one now if I cut from here and grow that one that's already experienced it has already PTSD that's already been traumatized because it did not get enough water at one stage so the new growth just died off or basically dried off now this one is still alive so which means I will have a better chance of growing Oh, see, so there you go. So this one now actually is a flower. Sorry, there you go. 
So that one there, that's probably a flower. So doesn't matter, it's a new growth. So this one now you can see that the flower has dried up. Okay, but the node, okay. The node is much bigger. So which means if this is not a growth but a flower, I have a better chance of making this grow quite fast if I harvest it or cut it from... This is about, how I don't know how long this is now. Okay, this would have to be about two foot long, okay, to where I want to cut. So let's go cut to there, even longer. So now, okay, I'm just going to raise this up. So that's how much I've got. So now I'm just going to plant this. Okay, that's one plant. So I prefer to go up the chain than go down the chain because up the chain you have a better chance of growing it fast and also if you're gonna buy some plants make sure you buy something that's matured and if you can't afford the mature plants then you have no choice but to uh, grow it from this it will grow but it's just gonna take a while and again there's also the factor you have to factor in that some do have a slow strain and a fast strain. So maybe this one that I got from my friend Jemmy Jem is just a fast strain and the one that I bought from the market is just a slow strain. But nevertheless, we're not really exactly gonna find out which is what unless I do a test, which is gonna take some time. But for now, to make it fast, I am just gonna chop this all up. Okay, so this one, even double heads like that, they're at a junction. Most people would just split that up, but I would prefer to go up above the Call of Duty again. And, oh, even better. Okay, here is one with a node. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take that one off. Okay, so I'm going to cut there. Because that's got a node. Look. Or a tuba. I kept forgetting what to call that. So now because of COVID lockdown, I have run out of materials or I can't get materials. So normally I use my master succulent soil mix. So I have run out of my granite. So we can't go out and get granite to a friend's property. I haven't got granite. Okay, so I can't make my master succulent soil mix. So this soil mix is cacti and succulents, which a lot of you can get. But now this one is very, it's got sand with it, which is what I don't like. And But it's also got pumice and perlite. I can see some, not perlite, sorry, vermiculite. Uh, I can see some shiny stuff, but, and the soil sort of feels heavy. Now, if you have a soil that sort of feels heavy like this, it needs some lightening up. So what I'm going to do is put some coconut coir. So I'm going to add 50%, so the same amount, say for example, I'll put this on one side, and I'll take my damp coconut coir. I'm going to do 50-50. There you go. That's good enough. That's about the same amount. And I'm going to mix this up. And also, because this cacti and succulent soil mix is pretty dry, I'm going to add some water. Okay, just add enough water to keep it moist and we stir. We mix this all up. Okie dokie, that feels about right. So the consistency is still sort of very open, pliable. And so I'm going to put this, so this is ideal. I can put, put in my hand, it's sort of goes like that falls apart really good <laughs> it'll have a lot of aeration into the soil which the plant would really love so i have a pot this pot has got big holes see you can see through this so i'm going to put a piece of my curtain cut up to put it across and because that also have small little holes i'm going to put a bit of paper any paper it uh, doesn't have to be grilled course and asparagus salad recipe. can be anything. It can be beetroot, watercress and radish salad if you like. <laughs> we'll put that there. And that way that just stops it from the soil escaping through the bottom and making a mess. There you go. So now that is my beautiful... You don't need to 
put some fertilizer as well because it's already got fertilizer. So I'm just going to pot up a few more. Now I'm going to take the first one, that's the longest. Now I'm going to put it in the center and take my trusty chopstick. I'm just going to put the whole thing in, the leaves and everything. And we're going to roll it like a turban. <laughs> about four five times and just for encouragement I'm gonna give it a tail but not necessary and then I'm gonna take all those a uh, one two three four and pin them together with my bobby pin and do the opposite side and that way the nodes or our little tiny tubers that are about to pop out will have contact with the soil and even if it doesn't once they can have the soil sort of near enough the roots will grow and try and reach out for the nutrients that's in the soil and also this one the soil I'm using is already got fertilizer for another three months and three months later I am going to be fertilizing this liquid fertilizer every time I water it so that's all you do May it be once a week or once every two weeks, it doesn't matter. So I always water when I feel that the pot is light. So this one is like 50% moisture at the moment, this one. So I'm not going to water it because that is still moist. The soil is still pretty moist. And maybe in, because it's getting warmer in here, especially I'm going to grow them inside here under the grow light. I'm going to be watering this about every second day because they dry up much quicker if you grow something under the grow light anyway now this once I'm gonna continue and that's it for now folks so I hope oops I'm so scared with this thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull off the leaves they're so delicate I'm supposed to be relaxing when I'm potting this up but I'm stressing out with them because they're just you can one wrong move one false move and you can tear off the leaves, but anyway, doesn't matter. We go create a hole again, and then we stick that in. Go in there, baby. And then stay, and we roll it around. So this one is a little bit shorter compared to the other one, so we probably got the opposite side. So that's all, folks. Thank you for watching, and... Hopefully, I'm able to share something, uh, new information that you don't know of. And there you go. Hang on. I think I'll just say, I'll see you in the next video, as I always do. Anyway, now I have to pin this one. It's just like, oh, I'm so scared. Don't get squashed. Don't remove your lips. Be good. Okay, I'm actually going to pin this from there. One side there. And I'm going to pin this one over here. And I will continue to do the same with the rest. Two down, three to go.